Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with another bonus love read. This reading is going to be for the sign of Pisces. Topic of the reading is, do they love you? Whoever it is that you have on your mind, we are going to find out if this person really loves you or not. I will be adding oracle guidance for you in this reading as well. So stay tuned. And before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general read. It may and it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs and messages that resonates and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. You can also check out the... Um, you know discount offers that i give as well in the um community post as well so yeah let's dive into the read and let's find out if this person really loves you yes or no let's see we have our first card here which is the high priestess i feel like you know there's this connection that you have with this specific someone that you are checking this read for is very soulful it is something deeper than you know deeper than you um can even imagine right now um you both feel kind of uh, so connected to each other. I feel like, you know, for some of you, um, there, there is like a unsaid, unheard, um, unexpressed um, feelings that you both have for each other. And probably even if you have been vocal about your feelings, but the, the kind of love, the kind of uh, connection, the kind of soulfulness that you hold for this person is something that you cannot word right now when it comes to this connection or this person. And I feel like, you know, the same goes coming, uh, you know, the same goes for this person as well. You know, they probably have never expressed their love. They probably have never been like, you know, open about it. But the way they feel for you is something beautiful and something different, something that they can never word right now. And I feel like, you know, I feel like this is something which is going to stay because i feel like you're for a majority of you your person has deep emotions um and they find very themselves very vulnerable to get hurt if they open up about it so they would rather choose not to i feel like you know, there is a sense of uh, security that this person feels when they are with you there is a sense of calmness that they feel without uh, you know uh, with you and without you i feel like you know this person really feels like you know there is something missing the other half of them is missing. I feel like, you know, there is a soulfulness and there is this completeness that you feel when you are together. And I feel like, you know, it's not one-sided. It's mutual. So I really feel like, you know, without you, this person feels empty. Without you, this person doesn't have, uh, you know, that sense of um, relaxation that they feel when you are around them. So there is a lot of uh, love. Uh, there is a lot of uh, soulfulness. There is a lot of... Uh, attachment there's a lot of um unsaid stuff that they're keeping to themselves uh but they really feel that you mean the world to them so that's what is like you know very obvious in their energy towards you so i feel like you know intuitively you both are on the same page um probably they never express it like you do but they they feel the same way for you let's see more cards here what is it do they love you Wow, again, a lot is not expressed, a lot is not said, a lot is not word uh, by them, uh, but they really feel the deep connection with you. I feel like, you know, for some of you, um, you definitely are on the same page, and probably for majority of you, you are dealing with the uh, with a uh, with a fire uh, with a fire or a water sign itself. And I feel like, you know, this person, uh, whoever it is that you are dealing with, this person has. Uh, um, has been thinking a lot about you and I feel like you know in whether you are in touch whether you are out of touch the 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 connection that that they feel for you is um, kind of out of this world I feel like you know uh, whether you're together whether you are not whether you are in touch whether you are not it will not affect the bond that your soul has with their soul so I really feel like you know it's, a, it's more of that kind of connection that you probably both never experienced before, and the love that that uh, feeling, that attachment that your soul has to their soul is mutual. They feel that you are somebody very special to them. Probably they never say it, but that's how they feel. They sleep thinking about you. They feel like you know you are that essential part of their life and i feel like you know this person has more love than they can ever express to you and probably they would choose not to express that um i feel like you know this person really believes that uh, 
you and them are meant to be. I feel like, you know, this is something coming as a surprise to you because probably they are not talking to you right now. But they will start opening their heart up to you. They will start letting you love them. They will start giving in to the connection with you. This person is not going to hold back. This person is not going to, um, you know, um, stay away from you forever. Their love, their feelings, their emotions towards you is going to get stronger. So they will be thinking a lot about you. They will be expressing their love and feelings, but not in a direct way. They would say certain things which is going to give you a hint that because of the way they have always been in love with you, um, they, they never expressed it. So they will be doing some gestures to show you that they care, to show you that they are still into you, to show you that you mean a lot to them. So I really feel like, you know, there's a lot that they are going to be revealing to you with their actions, uh, rather than saying with words, because they are not somebody who's a very verbal kind of a person. So they would rather choose some actions just to give you a hint, uh, that yes, they, they feel that you are the world to them. And you are going to feel that. You are going to sense that coming from this person. Um, I feel like, you know, you mean a lot to this person. They are their happiest with you. And whether you see it right now or you don't, but you will see that coming true for majority of you. Because I feel like, you know, the love and the bond that you share is mutual. And one more thing, I really feel like, you know, your souls are already tied to this person and their soul is already tied to yours. So they know that for sure. There's no confusion around it. There's no doubt around it they probably are having hard time to express it, but that's what they feel for you. So there is love, there is um, attachment, there is a sense of belonging here in this connection. Probably it's not said, it's not like, you know, expressed, but there is this strong bond that you have for each other. And in the deck, we do have the Empress. I feel like, you know, this person really believes that you are their man or that you're, you, you are their woman, uh, you know. And I feel like, you know, this person really believes that you mean the world to them. And I feel like, you know, it's not something that they would like to say they would rather feel it and um you 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 would be able to sense this love uh ethereal love i would call it because i feel like you know this is more like uh, it has less to do with the you know with the with the 3d world it's, it has more to do with the soulfulness of of connection i feel like you know this uh, sense of belonging that i see here is more of a um, divine. I feel like you know, it's, it's something divine that you share. The bond is very divine. And I feel like, you know, I even I cannot word the kind of feelings that this person has towards you. Um, but I really feel like, you know, for majority of you, you're going to sense uh, uh, that the love that this person has is going stronger in the days to come. And I feel like, you know, for those of you who are still struggling, I, I can bet on one thing. If you're still struggling with this person in, in your love life, the reason would be you not being aligned to get what you want with them. Probably you are thinking low about yourself. Probably you are not confident in yourself. Probably you are uh, letting your fear dictate your actions and behaviors. Um, if you could deal with that all, and if you could have like, uh, kind of like, you know, set yourself free from all those blockages, um, your love life with this person would be wonderful. Because I feel like, you know, for majority of you, this person, whoever it is that you are dealing with, um, and you are definitely on the same page. But if you fear that probably if they are not talking to you, maybe they are with another person, then that fear is basically stopping you from having what you desire. So make sure you look within to find out if there are any triggers which could be blocking you right now or your life right now with this person, then you've got to figure it out for yourself. Because once you have done that, once you have stopped uh, chasing this person and chasing the outcome that you desire, you will see a beautiful change coming in this connection that you have with this person. Stop expecting too much around the future of this connection. Start living in the moment with this person. And you will enjoy your moments with this person to the core. And I feel like you know, this, this, you know, um, you letting go of the future will give you the, you know, that, that, uh, that uh, sense of uh, happiness because you would live in the moment enjoying it fullest to the fullest with this person. You would not be concerned about the future. You would be taking it one step at a time. And when you are not having no fears around the future, you have no attachment around the future, you would give your all to this current moment and they will also do the same. So as you're gonna do that, you, will, you are going to experience the beautiful change coming from your person where they would be wanting you to take things next level with them. So if you really feel like, you know, you really have to do something to make this connection go next level, it has nothing to do with that person. It has all to do with yourself. Try to become that version of you who's so satisfied, who's so confident, who's so in that belief that this person belongs to you. And divine is going to kind of like, you know, create the situations to make them fall in love with you deeper than you know. 
or deeper than you ever loved anyone in your life. So if you start believing in that, you are going to see or experience a ma you know magical, magical uh, transformation with the coming from this person towards you. Let's see the oracle guidance for you in this given situation. <clears throat> so let's see what is the oracle guidance for you in the given situation. Do they love you? And what is the oracle guidance for you to have around it? Bring love into the situation. For some of you, it could be dealing with the Aquarius as well, or the Aquarius month is going to be very significant for you when it comes to your connection with them. Uh, the divine really wants you to bring love into the situation. Don't let the fear dictate your actions or behaviors at all. Try to look at you know all the current circumstances with this person from a loving perspective. And I would also suggest you to do one thing. Have mental conversations which are loving with this person. Don't ask again and again to yourself or when you conversate you know, in your head around the situation. Don't say, I don't know why they don't love me. Why don't they reply back to me? Why don't they call me up? Why don't they message me up? Start saying the things that you desire. And when you switch that little thing in you, trust me, you're going to see magical moments coming with this person. So start asking, like, I don't know why they love me so much. They will show you how and why they love you so much. So instead of, like, you know, having your mental conversation, which is negative, or which kind of, like, you know, keeps you stuck in the current moment, um, and make you feel kind of, like, ignored or neglected by your person, try to switch your thoughts to something more beautiful. Ask questions which are going to make you happy to know, uh, you know, this person loves you or this person wants you or this person like, you know, um, you know, wants the two of you to be together forever. So say those things which are going to be in alignment with what you truly desire. So whether you see the results in a day or two or not, but yes, trust me, when you start believing and having that, you know, confidence in yourself that this person will love you the way you desire, they will love you. They will desire you. They will want you. They will chase you. But if you are going to be the one chasing them, desiring them, and feeling lack of them, it's not going to come through. So let this person have that, like you know, attachment to you that they uh, that they cannot, like you know, survive without you. That they cannot stay away from you, and that they want to get married to you so the two of you could live together and spend every day of your life together. So if you really want that to happen, you have to change the in inner conversation that you probably be having right now. So once you do that, you will see magical shift coming from this person as well. Um, surrender to the divine. Now for those of you who are finding it very hard to surrender to the divine and trust the divine process around it, you've got to do that. You've got to have faith. And for those of you who are having that confidence in yourself and belief around what you desire, you will definitely get what you want with them. You will not have the fear. You will not find it hard to surrender to the divine. You will just live in the moment and um, be grateful for having beautiful memories made with this person rather than concerning about the future of this connection. So once you surrender the future and you believe and you have the fun right now, you will see more moments to add in your life which is going to bring you more reasons to be grateful for and the more reasons to be like, you know, coming from this person where they want to get married to you. So it's very important for you right now to surrender, to love yourself, to believe in yourself, to be confident in yourself and then look at all and everything that is happening in, the, in your connection right now from a loving perspective. Once you do that, you will see beautiful uh, energies coming up for you in, uh, in love with this person. So uh, yeah, let's see some more oracle guidance here. Let's see what else the divine really wants you to focus on right now. <clears throat> It's time for you to end the trauma, transform memories and symptoms. Again, I feel like, you know, for those of you who are still stuck in the past because this person did this in the past, I cannot do this in now and this and that. I feel like you know, it's very important for you to kind of like, you know, um, stop, um, stop letting your past memories and, uh, you know, trauma around the connection or your love life otherwise affect your current situation. For some of you, you really have to heal yourself as well. So once you have done that, once you have erased the negative memories and uh, once you open up to receive a new uh, beginning with this person, I feel like it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. And when you start believing, and, and if you could look back to the times when you used to be, um, you know, um, when, when you started off dating this person or seeing this person, how, you, how were you that time? Did you have any fear? 
I, I, I bet for the majority of you, when you started dating each other, there, there would have been no fear around it, around the future or something. And the moment you started having those fears or insecurities, that's the moment when everything changed for the two of you in this connection. So it's time for you to end the trauma and the suffering and the, you know, that, that uh, um, insecurity and start believing and start working on your confidence first and then start believing that whatever you desire is coming to you and trust the process. And that's how you're going to transform your, your life forever. And try not to think about the bad stuff that happened between the two of you in this connection. It's very important for the two of you to, uh, to uh, start a new chapter by by having the new conversation in your mind that you truly desire to have. Like, you know, try to do that, you know, try to, you know, put small little effort there to make things happen in your love life exactly the way you desire. And instead of like, you know, thinking about the trauma that you dealt with this person or bad stuff that happened in the connection, stop doing that to yourself. Stop repeating the negative uh, things that happen in this connection with you and them. It's very important right now. And once you do that, everything is going to change. So, um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it coming up for you for this read. If it was of help, do like, share, and subscribe to later the next read for you guys. Take care. Bye.